the Stanley Hotel, regarded by many as the most haunted place in the United States. This hotel is known for the legends and stories of paranormal experiences happening to many people. The ghostly figures in photos and videos along with strange sounds are enough to scare anyone. I decided to fly down to the Stanley Hotel and stay in the notorious room 217. Of course I was not gonna go alone, so I went with my cousin. The next day, we arrived at the hotel and checked into our room. We were only able to stay for one day because room 217 is very famous and many people want to stay in that room. Once we received the key, we walked up the stairs to our room. On the way to the room, we noticed many mirrors by the main staircase. Some of the mirrors were also facing each other, which created a vortex. A vortex is said to be a portal in which demons are able to travel from their world to the real world. While walking up the stairs, nothing happened, so I did not take any pictures. When my cousin and I entered the room, we quickly put our stuff down and went to explore the hotel. When we walked down the first set of stairs, we found another set of stairs in the very back of the hotel. These stairs were blocked off from the public by a set of chains. On the chains, there was a sign that said, do not enter. We quickly put two and two together and realized that these set of stairs led to the basement of the hotel. Since we were adventurous, we decided to go under the set of chains while no one was looking. When we reached the basement, it was very dark. I quickly turned on my phone flashlight and looked around. There was a barrel and that was pretty much it. There was also an open door that led to some kind of boiler room. Overall, the basement was kind of small. But one thing that stood out was the sudden change in temperature. It was very cold down there. We decided to take a couple of pictures of the basement and then just try and attempt to summon or talk to any spirits or ghosts. Once we finished taking the photos, I quickly took out my voice recording app and started it. We wanted to quickly finish everything so that we would not get caught in the basement and get in trouble. Now this is where things get scary. During the voice recording, I asked three questions. After I asked the first question, you could hear a faint knock in the background. Now keep in mind, it was very quiet in the basement and only my cousin and I were there. When I asked the second question, I did not get an answer. But when I asked the third question, the doorknob to the boiler room turned, and the door slammed. Here's the voice footage from the basement. Are there any spirits with us right now? Um, are we, are, are you trying to hurt us? One knock, yes, two knocks, no. So I guess I'm just going to ask another question. Um, where are you? At this point, my cousin and I were so terrified, we ran out of the basement, not caring if any security saw us. We ran straight to our room and locked the door. Upstairs, we started to try and debunk those sounds. But after a little while, we came up with the conclusion that those sounds must have been caused by a spirit or ghost, since there was no explanation. That was when I remembered about the photos that we took. We looked through all of the photos, until we reached the last one. In this photo, we could see a ghostly figure staring right at us. The picture is on screen right now. This picture was taken in the dark, using the flash on the iPhone camera. The scariest part is that when we were taking the pictures, we did not see anyone in the basement. For the rest of the day, nothing happened. We decided to stay up till 3 a.m. and use the Ouija board that we brought to the hotel. When the clock turned 3 a.m., we both sat around the table and put our hands on the planchette piece. We made sure to turn off all of the lights and only keep a small lamp on. We spun the piece around in circles three times 
and started asking questions again. Nothing seemed to happen for a while, until we asked, if there are any spirits or ghosts here with us, give us a sign. After a short pause, the lamp in the room started flickering, and it turned off completely. Now the room was dark. Suddenly we heard a loud banging sound. We ran towards the light to turn it back on, and when we did, we saw that the painting from the wall fell to the ground. This really scared my cousin and I, so we decided to walk out of the room in the middle of the night. After a little while of discussing everything that happened in our room, we decided to go back and try to sleep for the rest of the night. When we entered the room, everything was exactly where we left it, so we went to sleep for two hours, till the sun came up. In the morning, we quickly packed up all of our things and checked out of the Stanley Hotel, leaving early. This experience really proved that there is something else out there. Some paranormal spirits or ghosts present in the Stanley Hotel.